Hello, Bellingham. I love your weather. <laughs> I would love to do that as well, but I think my wife would not appreciate all of that. Boy, did I learn this one. The every $3 million crisis. <laughs> now, first of all, let's define it. $3 million is $3 million of gross margin. So if you're a hardware company, if you're a distributor who makes 15% gross margin, it's $3 million of gross margin. That may mean that you are $30 million worth of gross revenue. But when you hit that $3 million number, if you're a software company, that's a pure $3 million play. When you hit that $3 million play, you're gonna have a crisis in this company and I don't care who you are or how careful you are, you better prepare for this crisis or it's gonna hurt you. It will happen at the next $3 million point and the next and the next. <laughs> so let's look at that. They happen to be recurring crises. They happen again and again. So the first one in my experience is after you've gotten the money at zero, before the product is released or before the sales have begun or anything of the kind, the crisis was money and we'll just put that on the table as, of course it's a crisis because without it you wouldn't have had a company. So we'll get beyond that first round by just saying the money begins to foment the other opportunities for a crisis. So the first one that arrives, typically at the $3 million point in my experience, is organizational. $3 million, well, with $150,000 of average sale per employee, which is typical. Remember, we're talking about gross margin, not just sales. So that way, we equalize manufacturers, distributors, software companies. They are all an equal playing field that way. At $150,000, you have about 20 employees. And the CEO who had one or two friends and started a business is suddenly in charge of a business with uh, multiple layers and 20 employees. And I guarantee you the organization that started will not survive the first crisis. I guarantee you a reorganization is required. A middle layer of management has to happen if it hadn't already. And if it isn't, that company is going to use many of its resources, typically time, to begin to solve crises problems that it should not have had to if it had understood. So organizational crisis is the first that you can plan for. You will know before you hit 20 employees that there's gonna be a need to reorganize and help coach the CEO into thinking ahead about how this company won't be as efficient if not something done. And the second one in my experience is typically quality control. So you get to $6 million, you're generating a lot of product or a lot of service. And what happens is what I described with my company is you'll find yourself with a quality control problem that could be spiraling out of control if you didn't expect it before it happened. And many times you have to slow down the growth for a little while or apply resources that are in excess of what you might have expected to, but the quality crisis is number two is the one to just plain plan for. Because I told you it takes six months to a year to recover from beyond the time that the actual recovery is complete. And then the third one comes on, and it typically is financial again. You're at nine million. Remember way back when we talked about it takes money to make money? And as you grow that extra $3 million, you'll need an extra $750,000 to even more than that of working capital to be able to get the extra run rate going. And many times, companies don't generate that much in early margins because, of course, the expenses are higher in young companies than they are in mature companies. So there you are, and it goes around and around. The fourth crisis at the next $3 million point may be at a $6 million additional revenue point, but it will happen again and reorganizing the company will be necessary. And it will happen again, and quality control will become the problem. If you, as board members, have the insight to understand that these crises will be regular and they will happen, how much more empowerment can you give to the CEO? How many more cogent questions can you ask to make good your board work and good the opportunity for the company? So that's a good one to know. Here's a, a board planning exercise. It can be used in two different ways. I really like you to use this in your companies. I do with every company that I have, once a year, sometimes a little less, but once a year. And it can be used when you're raising money, and it can be used when you're getting ready to make the run to sell the company. But it's the identical exercise, and it really is empowering for everybody. So the first question, whether it's the exit or the financial resources, is to make this chart. Look carefully at the chart, and notice that there are four columns and there are up to 10 rows. I just showed a few rows here. So the four columns are, if I'm gonna sell the company, as the example I'm gonna give you right now, let's name 10 possible candidates. So the board, the CEO get together, and it's pretty easy to find the first five or six of them because they're in the industry, we can find them as strategic opportunities. We know who they are, they're competitors in some cases, they're companies we supply or supply us in other cases. 
but the other four may be harder to find, but we find 10 in the end, because that's a good number. More than 10, the exercise gets diluted. Less than 10, we haven't got enough power in the exercise. So the second column is, if they had perfect knowledge of our company, what would they do? What would they want from us? Big question. Perfect knowledge, what would they want? They would probably want our intellectual property. Cisco used to buy, still does occasionally, buy companies for their people. So it could be personnel. It could be any one of several things that we have. The product is already in the marketplace. Uh, when Cisco bought Flip Phone, they bought it because they wanted to get into consumer market with a well-accepted, cheap product for high-definition video. And so recently they bought Flip Phone, and they did it because they knew precisely what they wanted. So we're guessing what those people would want. And we put that into the second column beside each one of the companies. The third column is, what would you want, other than their cash, what would you want from these companies? If you had a perfect mating with another company, is it their distribution? Is it their ability to take your drug and make the trials happen? Is it uh, their ability to uh, technically do things you haven't been able to do, their intellectual property? Whatever it is, what would you want? Because that's empowering for the synergy between the two just as well. And then finally, make a ranking of one to 10, 10 being this will happen, I just know it. One being it's very unlikely to happen. What's empowering here? The important reason for this exercise is column two. Column two, what would they want if they had perfect knowledge of your company's core competency? And the answer is, if you go down column two and ignore the other three columns, you'll find that in at least four and maybe more out of the 10 companies that you've drawn, they would want the exact same thing from you. And what's surprising is that that something may not be what you thought your core competency was. But this exercise proves that for at least the run, this is your core competency. It is where I would double down. It is where I would put more resources than we had before. And it also tells us, because of the 10 to 1 ranking, who we should pay some attention to as far as where the exit is. So it's a great exercise. It uh, puts it together in a way that hasn't been done before and one that I would recommend very strongly. For fundraising, for the ultimate liquidity event, I've given you some examples. Boards are valuable in every way that you can imagine. And who was it? Yogi? <laughs> who said a nickel ain't worth a dime anymore? It sure was Yogi. He said it. He meant it. I understand it. We as investors sure have a feeling for that, don't we? Mm -hmm.